Hi guys, in this video I want to show how to work with JShell or Interactive Java Console. We are going to do this in Ubuntu. So these are the topics that we are going to cover here. How to start JShell, some basic commands, unassigned or assigned variables. We can call unassigned also a temporary variable. How to define or declare methods and classes, if and for loop conditions, uh, imports and JShell auto completions. If you want to install Java 9, you can check those two links, how to install it on Ubuntu 16 and how to download Java 9 for Windows. So I will put all the links below and all comments so you can copy paste them and use them directly. So let's start with JShell console. Um, how to start JShell console? We can write JShell and we are going to enter in console mode. We have two type of variables. The first type is uh, uh, assigned variable. So for example, if you want to use uh, int variable x which is equal to 10 we can do it in this way and as you can see we don't need uh, semicolons at the end of the statement and if we don't put a name and type of the variable we will get a temporary variable which is uh, named with dollar sign and a number so how to access uh, this temporary variable it's accessed by dollar sign and uh, the number. So for example printing uh, this variable is done by this way. And if we want to print uh, assigned variable we can do it in this way. As you can see we don't need uh, semicolons as well. So let's move on uh, classes. We can uh, define a new class in a very simple way as in normal Java. So let's say that we want empty class test one. So this is definition of this class test one. And let's say that we want a class with uh, only one method class test uh, class test. We have uh, let's say one method inside. Uh, let's say it's print y mm -mm -mm -mm. and let's say that we want to print inside uh, letter y um, we have uh, here we have to use uh, semicolons and we are uh, putting the new statements with enter so this is the definition of our new class. We can uh, do a new instance of this class and test this new instance. Let's say, uh, as you can see, if I'm using uh, tab, we have uh, auto completion. Let's say that we want create variable ts. New test. And let's say that we want to test this method. So here we can see all the methods available for this variable. And we have uh, print y. And this is the result. So in this way you can uh, define a new class with method. You, ca you can create a new instance for this class. And finally you can access methods of this class. Uh, if you want to do imports, let's say that uh, you want to import something, first you can uh, check all the imports by import. So let's say that I want to use uh, array and I want to import, uh, import uh, Java arrays, so I can do it in this way. And checking the imports, now at the end we have uh, our new import. Uh, we can uh, define methods in a similar way. For example, let's say that we want to have a new method print x. 
which is printing just uh, one letter. This time the letter is going to be X. And this is our method and we call, can call it in this way. So this is all for uh, defining a new method. Uh, if condition or if statement is uh, similar in normal Java and the same is for uh, for loop. We don't have a big difference between for loop and uh, this one in JShell and the one in uh, uh, normal Java. So let's go to variables. As you can see here we have uh, some uh, list of all variables that we have in uh, current JShell. So in order to see all variables we have to put slash vars. In order to see all classes we have to put slash classes. And as you can see we have uh, all classes def uh, defined so far. And here we have uh, all variables so far. We can list all methods that we have. As you can see we have uh, our method and one uh, standard method. We can see all imports by slash imports. We can uh, use lists, uh, slash list in order to see all snippets so far. And I think that I cover all comments. And the last comment is um, how to exit from JShell. You can uh, use slash exit in order to exit. And the other way for Ubuntu, you can use control plus Z. And again, you're going to exit from JShell. That's all for JShell. If you have any questions, please do ask them below in the comment section. And if you have any suggestions or uh, if I made any mistake, uh, please correct me. I will change it. Thank you for watching and see you.